as we stand here on this shining blue pearl beneath this vast shimmering canopy of stars each twinkle a testament to the infinite we must ponder a question that pierces the heart of our existence what if in this colossal expanse we are the first what if among the billions of galaxies trillions of stars and planets beyond count or compare what if life as we know it with its laughter its tears its art and its wars began here on this pale blue dot we call earth imagine for a moment the silence that has reigned for billions of years before us a universe so old yet so barren of the whispers of life, of consciousness, of the very essence of being. We, the children of Earth, might be the pioneers, the first to gaze upon this cosmic tapestry with eyes that see, with minds that wonder, and hearts that feel. But what if, after our civilization? with all its triumphs and follies, fades into the entropy of time. There remains no one to remember us, no one to marvel at the pyramids, the symphonies, the philosophies we've crafted. We would be the ancients, not in a universe teeming with life, but in one that is, perhaps, eternally silent. The universe, then, is fucked. Not in the sense of being broken, but in being incomplete. For what is a universe without the stories of its inhabitants, without the echoes of laughter from a child, the cries of a poet, the silent contemplation of a philosopher under those very stars? We might be the only ones to have ever asked, are we alone? The only ones to have felt the chill of cosmic loneliness, the weight of his existential dread. And when our light goes out, when our civilization crumbles to dust, will there be another to light the darkness? Or will the universe continue, cold, indifferent, a silent witness to its own vast, empty beauty. This thought, my friends, is both humbling and terrifying. It places upon us a mantle of responsibility, a call to greatness. If we are the first, then every step we take, every choice we make, every creation and destruction shapes not just our world, but the universe's narrative. We must then live, not just for ourselves, but for the possibility that we are the universe's first story. And in doing so, perhaps, just perhaps, we might leave a legacy, a beacon for any who might follow, a message in the cosmic bottle that says, we were here. We wondered, we dreamed, we lived. So as we look up at these stars tonight, let's not just see the lights in the sky, but the potential of our own legacy. For if we are the first, then we are also the guardians of the universe's future. Let us not be said that the universe was fucked because we failed to dream, to explore, to love, to be.